basically just a mentoring program to really help children that are in need and to catch them before they make a bad decision that's going to lead them to a place where I or us Broncos can't help you anymore because once you make a decision where we can't help you then there's nothing we can do to help you get out of the system and so we try to catch you before you get into the system or catch you to where you, you can get out of the system. It's really neat um, organization. Not a lot of states have it, to be honest. Not a lot of uh, counties have it. We're one of the lucky counties do, do have this because in our county, in Arapahoe County, where the Broncos organization is in, there's a lot of kids that struggle. And there's a lot of, you know, poverty. There's a lot of kids that are, you know, caught up in gangs and violence. There's a lot of kids that, you know, are runaways, domestics. Um, kids are abused. Kids, you know, are going starving. Kids that are just, I, that you never would have thought that if this is in your backyard or, you know, where I work and this is what's happening. And it just breaks my heart that this is really what's happening behind closed doors that not a lot of people know about. And so I, I jumped on immediately because I knew this is something that me and my foundation could become a part of. You know, I grew up in very similar situations to a lot of these children. So when I started figuring out this is, that they teamed up with, with the Broncos since we're just right across the street, pretty much neighbors to them. Um, I just jumped right into it and it, and when I started making these videos and here, and getting a little short background of these children, it really just made me super emotional. Like, I'm sorry if I start crying, but it, it really did because it touched my heart so much that these children have suffered just like I have and they have nobody that can look up to them. And so I wanted to jump on this because I wanted to be a mentor for them and I wanted them to know that you know, the grass is green on the other side and that you can strive to be better and you can strive to make choices um, to better your life and you don't have to make choices that continue to lead you down the path you're going down. And I've shared to them that if they keep making these same choices, they ain't gonna end up in the big house or they're gonna end up in jail because <clears throat> they'll, you know, when you get to 18, they move on from you. And when you're, when you're over the age of 18, you start getting the charge as an adult. And I think they, you know, I try to help these kids do that and you know I, I meet their goals with them and you know some of the things that we do is you know they'll get a signed football from me or you know I'll throw a pizza party for them and if they really you know finish probation and you know I get to meet with them and, and get to talk with them. The work doesn't stop um, you just gotta continue to find little ways to do it and Microsoft's done a phenomenal job with that and I'm so thankful for them that they can continue to keep my work going. It's so crazy to even think like I can be in California or I can be in Hawaii or I can be in Mexico on vacation and I can have you know an hour with these kids through through a service where a camera's looking at me and a camera's looking at them and we can see face to face and have a conversation and still do my videos and it's so neat that I get to continue to, to do my work um, during these you know this pandemic that we're in. I've been doing it for about a year now and I finally visited all the people that are behind the scenes that I've seen about a couple weeks ago and it was so cool to be there and to, to see what, what goes behind the scenes and see the judge and see all the probation officers and see the prosecutors and attorneys. What, what stand out to me is the prosecuting attorneys because most prosecuting attorneys, they just want to put a kid away or they want to put an adult away. They don't really want to understand what the story is and going through court system myself, that's how I felt as well. I just felt like they just want to throw you, throw you in jail or throw you in detention center. And when I really got to know these, you know, these two fine young men, they, they, they brought awareness to me that they are there to help these children. You know, that's the last result is to put them in jail or to put them in a detention center. And that just made me a huge smile. And right then I was like, I knew I'm supposed to be here. I know I'm supposed to be in this courtroom. I know I'm supposed to meet all these wonderful people. And I'm just really looking forward to all the many memories that I'm gonna share and watch these kids grow in ways that they never thought they could grow. And I'm just looking forward to, to building that mentorship and um, seeing how far these children can go in their life.